Okay, so this video is going to be one of those that I'm just a little bit pissed off at a few things, especially with pre-build PCs. That's interesting, Best Buy website that loads very fast when you have a VPN on. The reason, I don't know what the reason is, but I don't like it. I'm going to go with Intel. Uh, I'm going to do 7 and 9, of course. And uh, let's see, the iBuyPower and CyberPower are the biggest on this game. What do you notice in this listing alone? I7, 14,700 14, or 14th generation? F, F, K, F. Uh, where's the other one? K, F. Seriously? You cannot get any lower. F, F. All of them, F, charging you $1,500. $1,500. I, I don't know what they're even thinking. Why would you put an F CPU in these computers and you're charging people real money and you're charging $1,500. This is, this is absolutely frustrating. And this is absolutely the worst value for your money. I'm telling you right now, you will regret buying any kind of Intel CPU with F. It doesn't have onboard graphics. It is locked to hell and back. If your graphics card goes out of commission, and you want to troubleshoot or something that you want to plug either an HDMI or DisplayPort or VGA directly to your motherboard, yeah, good luck with an F because it has zero onboard graphics. It is the worst CPU money can buy. Then, then the most beautiful part, well, they don't even, uh, they, they don't even list it here what they're charging you for, of course, on Best Buy because <laughs> that's too much to, <laughs> to put. But basically, they, I noticed almost all of them charge you $100 and above for a Windows license. C can we just cut that part? We know it's BS. We know you never paid $100 for that. I know you're saying that, oh, but we installed it. No, no, you said Windows license. It didn't say installation. Let me search for gaming PC here. Just, uh, just a little, little quick one. Okay, this first one, the when it comes to mini PC gaming, absolutely stay away from them. If you really like gaming, these are gaming compared to a Chromebook. Yeah, they might do that better. But if you're looking for gaming, yeah, skip, skip. This one here, Intel i5, F. Intel i7, F. Intel i9, KF. Really, really, Core i7, this one didn't even uh, bother to list which i7 because it's not the same just saying i7 look all of them and they're charging you money f right here too seriously let me go to new egg right and let me put gaming pc right here okay and they're charging wow 700 800 for these yep f f uh, the, il, windows 11 home okay put that somewhere down under under completely under where nobody can see it because right now let's say i bought this 1400 dollars uh bag of raw i mean computer or gaming rebuild first thing i'm gonna do from it is uninstall windows 11 get rid of it and forget that it ever happened and install windows 10 because i'm a human and i would love to use my phone as a mobile operating system and not my computer windows 11 is not made for a computer I don't care what you say. You might have opinions. Great. We all know you got them. Leave them in the comments below for somebody else to be convinced, not me. And uh, we're going to go to something else. Yep. F here too. F right here too. Okay. F. What? Seriously? The F right here too. This one, $1,600. Okay. This is a Ryzen. That's a different story. Ryzen is actually better. I've been an Intel guy my entire life for the first time yeah i'm gonna be stepping away from intel because it doesn't make sense they're charging you almost 1200 dollars here well after taxes you're definitely paying over 1200 f seriously take that hundred dollars that you're trying to skim me for windows 11 home <laughs> Because I'm not stupid. And put it towards a K. Yeah. Can we do that? And this is really something that I'm mentally not prepared to even look at. Absolutely not. It just makes no sense to charge people money and give them an F 
Intel series. You just don't do that. It's shameful. It's ridiculous. Look at that. I7 F. I have an F for myself. Let me let me just show you. Here. I7 9th series whatever. F. F. The worst CPU money can buy. And if you're building your own computer, I highly suggest it, by the way. These these uh, price tags here, they look pretty good, right? So after knowing all that, well, can we compile a kind of gaming PC slash video editing? And I'm talking about video editing at around 4K with less money. And I by less money, I mean less than a thousand dollars potentially. Well, before taxes, of course, without paying taxes. Yeah. Well, I made a small list that could probably save you some money. I'm not sure how much money, but it would be not a bad one to start, but this would be an AMD uh, style PC, not an Intel based. I am done with Intel. They're playing too many games and I'm not a fan of game playing. Absolutely not. Just because Intel wants to make a penny more per CPU on top of selling it for $400. Now that CPU will get fried. Yeah. So that's why I'm doing this with AMD. I'm not a master pre-builder or any of that. This is just what I looked around on the internet with pieces that would make quite a good PC on a budget and budget budget. I mean, at around thousand dollars, not budget 500 bucks, but this will be more than capable of video editing and most of the games. So CPU, I would go with an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X because multi-core performance and it's quite good for 4K video editing. Now, gaming performance is pretty good for most games. Now, crazy games, you do you. Around 260 bucks. And the reason I say around is that these prices fluctuate. You will not see these prices maybe tomorrow. Maybe they'll be lower. Maybe they'll be higher. That is a different story. Cooler. I went with a what I would call base minimum that is reasonable. This is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 black edition because it's quite reliable, never gives up on you, and it keeps your CPU cool. And the CPU is an AMD. AMD is not known for uh, becoming a grill like Intel does it sometimes. And the price is at around $40, not a million dollars, 40. And motherboard MSI B450 Tomahawk Max 2, in my opinion, is a really good motherboard. I know you may completely disagree with this one. I absolutely love this version. And the price, eh, 100 bucks. Sometimes you can get it for 80, sometimes 110. As I said, plus, uh, prices will fluctuate. That is not something you should go buy or with because those are internet prices. And this would run you at, at that around hundred dollars. I rounded it up because I found it with different prices when it came to Amazon, Walmart, Newegg and all that. So let's go there. Corsair Vengeance LPX 2x8 is kind of okay. I We're trying to keep it under a thousand dollars. That's why I went with 2x8, but I would highly suggest to bump it to 32 gigs, but 16 gigs, you can get away with a lot, a lot. So. It's not something that you can get shy of. And yes, this is DDR4, 3200, does the job just fine. And it will get you at around $50, around. As I said, you might find it even cheaper. Just watch out what you buy. Storage, well, it, if you have extra terabyte or two terabyte older mechanical drives, you can attach them later. But as a main system to install your uh, operating system and uh, software and all that, Absolutely, in 2024, makes zero sense not to have an M.2. Just the, forget about the whole old SATA and all that SSDs. Just go with an M.2 because this board takes it, and you're you're gonna be good enough with a crucial P3, one terabyte. That will do your job just fine. It's quite fast, especially for video editing. A terabyte is not something to be shy of. It will run you at around 55 to 60 bucks. The lowest I would say I found it was $53, but I'm going to put 55 here because this is around. And these are prices at the moment of recording this video. This might change. This video is being recorded on August 29th, 2024. Just keep that in mind. And the graphics card 
I'm going with RTX 3060 because it's the 12 gigabyte version. Now I know a lot of people say, oh, but eight gigabyte is good. No, absolutely not. If you're doing video editing, you need to squeeze as many gigabytes as you can out of that puppy. 3060, 12 gigs will be your best best friends right here and this is absolutely good for 4k video editing and quite good handling some gaming at medium to high settings well i you know my games i i'm not gonna get around and tell you that i'm a gamer i'm not a gamer i play gta 5 need for speed forza horizon that kind of stuff for those games except forza horizon you don't really need any crazy gpu but yeah i would go with rtx 3060 at this moment 12 gigs version it will be around 300 dollars. i've seen it go for 265 and 280 sometimes just check you gotta check and the case eh, just a fantex eclipse p300a is a really beautiful case the case you can find your own case but myself i'm not a big fan of too much of that rgb and all that kind of gimmicky stuff that's those are gimmicks Unless you're a streamer and you want to put something fancy behind you to look cool and all that, yeah, then it's a different story. But if you're just a normal user that uses a PC on the side, you could care less about those lights. All those lights are going to do is suck more power from your uh, PSU and distract you sometimes because you look around when the lights move. So yeah, I got rid of all the RGB on my case. I'm done. And this one will run around 55 to 65 bucks. Depends where you buy it. And lastly, but of course not the least thing here, is the power supply. I am a big fan of EVGA 600W1. This is an 80 plus, the white 600 watts. It's a really good and reliable power supply in my opinion. I've had it before and I, well, I still have it and it has been a rock literal rock <laughs> when it comes to reliability because you definitely want a power supply that is reliable now if you want you're not gonna harm anything you can go with an 800 to future proof your rig some people i've seen go with a kilowatt or a thousand watts to even further future proof but you're not really future proofing that much because this uh whole build here is uh, PCIe 3, not 4. So, yeah, that's just how it works. And uh, yeah, with that said, I would highly, highly suggest you do some studying before you jump on these pre-built PCs, which I fully understand, by the way. I fully understand that somebody has to actually go in and build it, and somebody has to get paid to build it, and somebody has to buy the parts. But a lot of those parts are built you know, from the bottom of the barrel like this i7 F series here, which is the worst CPU you can ever buy in your life. And waste of time and waste of money RGB stuff. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's 2024. Maybe when I was 10 to 11 years old, I would have liked that RGB. After that, absolutely not. It's horrendous. It's the worst thing you can put in a case. If you want to please me, that's just get rid of RGB. It's gimmicky. A PC is meant to be a tool, just like your car. You don't work construction and go buy a Toyota Yaris. You go buy a Ford pickup truck or a van or something that you put the tools on. You could care less how it looks because it's a work machine. Unless you're buying your PC for RGB lights, just go buy RGB lights. The strips are very cheap. They plug into your USB. They have now even the ones that you can command them with voice and with a programming. Know that you can RGB your entire room for less than 150 bucks. So you don't need to blast RGB on your PC. Look at this one. What do you do with this one? Seriously, what, what's, what's the beauty on this? Please, can somebody on comments below tell me where is the appeal on this whole thing here? Seriously, why don't you give me a slot here for retro pieces so I can probably install, I don't know, a DVD drive, a CD writer instead. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you give me some card readers here on the front? I don't know, a full SD card reader, micro SD, CF. Why not? Why don't you give me three more USBs or three more USB-Cs or s something better? Don't give me lights. Who cares about the lights? What's the last time you gamed on lights? Or what's the last time you cared about lights when you were exporting a 4K video? 
I, I guess you cried about your CPU and GPU performance and not because, oh, but if I had more RGB, this video would have exported faster. I highly doubt that. And if you think that's the case, I guess you need to watch more YouTube videos to learn what computers are. And this is not coming from a master. I'm not a master on this stuff at all by any stretch. But seriously, look, look, all this wasted, wasted power rgb everything uh i don't know we forgot to check our uh last one <laughs> which i bet they have cyber power gaming pc you have to open it uh full looks like yeah gaming pc i said walmart mzx cyber power comes up first what are we dealing with oh ryzen 5 actually <laughs> somebody's learning okay okay rx 7600 mm, i don't know what to say about that one so yeah just what i said check the prices of parts don't be scared well you're gonna make mistakes we all made mistakes when we first started building pcs it's just the thing we all made mistakes now we learn now we know what goes with what and now we know how to not waste money because there's a lot of gimmicks that will be sold to you as part of that computer, <laughs> that'll make your head spin and you will regret ever even starting that research because they'll try to sell you the cutest stuff that absolutely does nothing for your computer. And I mean, absolutely nothing. Look at that. Seriously. Tell me how much those RGBs help you. Oh, but I think they help you for a greater deal. So now, Instead of looking at that motherboard, if it has dust, you just check the LEDs and, oh yeah, they're working good. Not going to clean the dust. Nah, nah, this, this is just RGB and everything. Seriously, look, even under the grill. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And look, why don't you show me where are the extra slots to put uh, mechanical drives? Look, nowhere does it show you a picture of that. Seriously, show me a close-up picture of the motherboard itself. Show me a close-up. Take all the parts out. Just, I want to see the motherboard. That's what matters here. Nope, none of that. But we're going to look at the RGB. RGB. <laughs> like we're five and we love the lights. No, I care how long does it take to export an actual 4K60 video. That's all I care. And with that said, thank you for listening to my rant. If you liked anything here, please hit like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.